Hi guys, thank you for joining me. It's a wonderful woodland, I'm in Derbyshire, and today I wanted to talk about why you should go out into the wilderness, into the forest, into the woods, just be on your own, and why that's really, really good for your mental health. Because I haven't been in the woodland for a couple of weeks, and just walking in here, makes you feel so much more relaxed, so much calmer, all the stresses seem to go away. Um, and it's been raining, it still is raining. The woodland looks magnificent. I'm just gonna have an hour in complete silence with me, the woodland, and the sound of rain. Just enjoy this beautiful scenery because often, Certainly for me, when it used to rain, the last thing I would do is come out. I'd normally just put the fire on or cover up in a blanket and just watch television. But actually, this is so much more beneficial to us as humans. I don't know why, but it's, it's a well-known fact. And I know this from my school time that getting children, getting adults into the air, into the fresh air for at least 20, 30 minutes a day is super beneficial. Um, hear the rain? It's wonderful, wonderful stuff. And this is a lovely woodland. It's got uh, some lovely old oaks here and some silver birches, some moss, all the elements really that I love. So, uh, and actually the bracken is starting to go brown, but all the trees, as you can see from this, all the leaves are glistening in this lovely rain that we've had, so. Um, let's go and explore. And as I'm here, quite like this actually. I don't know why, I'm trying to work it out. I like those two trees, the angle of them. I like the green oak leaves with all the water on them and the bracken just turning brown. So I'm going to do a panoramic of this, probably three images portrait. Um, I'll stack it together and I'll show you now. Actually, I'll probably video myself doing it just so you can enjoy the sound of these raindrops.
this is just wonderful in here. I really enjoyed it. Hear the rain? <laughs> Not a lot of bird song actually. But the rain's magnificent. It gives everything this glisten. I've said this many times before. What I like about this is this tree's really interesting. We've got this ivy growing around the trunk. Some spindly bits. The light glistening off those branches there. And then in the background we've got a little club of chestnut trees, I think. And then down the valley we've got the bracken just turning brown, yellows, oranges, just the hints of autumn starting to come and a pathway to lead you through. I've got a polarizer on the front. I'm just gonna turn it and spin it until we get everything really rich. And hopefully you like the picture. Now, if you haven't seen any of my woodland pictures before or any of my pictures before, I often use something called a 65-24 crop, a very tight panoramic, which I really like, which means that when I'm looking in woodland, I'm only looking at a little section height-wise because often the mess around here that can actually be the character that can also spoil it. Um, what I guess I'm looking for most of the time, and I've been trying to think about what I look for, just really so I can reiterate it to you. What I try and look for is a main prominent tree, which is interesting, and then some things in the background that you come across and go oh look at that oh that's interesting and it might be a flash of color it might be an interesting clump it might be a contrast and actually we've got a little bit of that going on here with this pathway um, the only problem i've got is there's a hedge or well, there's a tree right next to where you are which i'm going to have to back into to get the camera up but that's okay it's going to look good i think let me shoot that um, and i'll show you what it looks like So here's another scene which I really love. Look, same kind of thing. It's going to be a 65-24 crop. We've got this lovely old bent silver birch covered in moss. Got another silver birch here, another group here. These are silver birches as well. And in the background, as well as on the floor, we've got these bracken that's going green, yellow, orange, brown. And then behind, I've got some lovely greens. So let's shoot this as well. The difference that the rain makes is truly amazing. I've said to you before, and if you haven't seen it, I produced a video, which I'll link up here somewhere, about why you should shoot in the rain, because it is amazing, especially in woodland. Everything looks different. I don't think I'd be shooting this if this was in the sunshine on a Sunday afternoon. But now, it just looks magical. And now we've got a little bit of light coming in as well, so I think these are gonna look really nice. So, as you can see, I've got the camera up as high as it will go. And the reason for that is I don't want any sky in this. So as well as a 65-24 crop, or actually using a 65-24 crop, gets rid of all of the sky. And sky, to me, in woodland just doesn't work most of the time. There are exceptions. But this particular one, the sky is really great and boring. There is, though, some light in the background, which is lovely. So. If you look at the tones of it, we've got some lights in the, in the distance, which leads the eye. I'm going to focus on the front tree. We've got 6.7, ISO 64, one and a half seconds on this. So a one second delay. That's going to look wonderful. The only slight problem I've got now is there's a half a tree sticking out to the right, and it's literally a fraction. down on and there is some sky in the picture but that's going to go in fact let me just show you that on this camera so this is what it's going to look like may end up treating this slightly lighter than before but this is obviously the main subject here and then we've got these trees now i've had this little tree here i've just given it a bit of space and then this group of trees here and I really like these light greens in the background. So we're going to, if I can reach up this high, I'm <laughs> gonna lose, that looks something like that. And what I also might do is I might feel this bit of sky, see this bit of sky here? I could actually fill that with um, 
some more leaves using uh, AI generation in Photoshop. And I know it's not there, but it could be. I don't think that's a problem filling that sky because that bit of gray there, look, really, really does spoil it. Other than that, I think we've done a good job there. Cool. Right, one more shot because I always want to cover myself. So one more go. We're exposed to the right a bit. Maybe you're going to come down just a fraction. Cool. Good, let's move on. Gonna do another half an hour, I think, but I'm gonna put the vlogging camera away. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope that I've convinced you at some level that it's really good to get outside. And photography is brilliant for that because it gets you out into the countryside to take some pictures. And then you have memories. So photographs conjure up memories. It could be mostly it's to you as the photographer. You remember how you feel when you were there. Um, I talked last week about conveying moods in your pictures if you can get really good with it. But even if, even if your photographs don't ever see the light of day, just looking at them will hopefully conjure up that feeling that you had stood here in this beautiful woodland, with this lovely peaceful nature, rain falling. And hopefully it'll bring back some memories of how you felt and hopefully those memories will be of spending a stress-free couple of hours in nature and we as humans used to live like this in forests and i think there's something in our animal brain at the back of our heads that tell us this is a good place to go so it's really good for stress relief um thanks so much then for tuning in uh, just don't forget there are still places available on the workshop with Gary and I in Yorkshire, Limestone and Waterfalls. I'll put a link to the end. Probably next time you'll see me, I'll be with Gary. We've got the Two Photographer Challenge Part 2, the return leg. Gary's coming down to Norfolk to see me. I'm going to take him to a couple of locations and we're going to see what we come up with. So I haven't decided where yet, but it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. So that will be next week. So thanks ever so much for tuning in. Until next week. Goodbye.